It is such a beautiful practice and I'm really excited to share it with you. Hi everyone, welcome to Dinosaur Life, a place where we live life to the fullest. Deep, life-changing topic today, everyone. Make sure that you are in a space where you feel free to be vulnerable, a place where you feel safe. And don't let me freak you out too much. At the end of this journal session, you are going to feel so free, but it's a big one. Dr. Tara Brock, she's a psychologist and a meditation teacher, likes to tell the story about a guru who um, takes his mentees uh, up a hill or something and then asks them this one big question. What are you unwilling to feel? Whoa. I've got a whole video about this if you want to watch that before doing this journal session with me, but it, you don't have to have watched it. We can just move right into it. The gist of it is, holy cow, this is a big and powerful question. What are you unwilling to feel? We are going to talk about this today and then we are going to feel so lighthearted, so rejuvenated afterwards. It's a beautiful question. Grab your pen in your journal or click below for my editable PDF. Let's go. So let's just answer the question. We're going to do that and then we're going to work through Dr. Brock's practice called RAIN. It's R-A-I-N. The question is, what are you unwilling to feel? I need you to be really, really honest with yourself here. Some examples that, of things that people write down are uh, loneliness, regret, betrayal, um, failure. What are you unwilling to feel in your life? Today we're working through a practice called RAIN in order to deal with this feeling in a healthy way. It is such a beautiful practice and I'm really excited to share it with you. The first step is R, which is recognize. So for this prompt, I just want you to recognize the feeling, explain a little bit about where it might come from. So we just recognize what this feeling is and maybe talked a little bit about what's occurring because we are avoiding this feeling. We're going to move into A, which is allow. What would it be like for you to allow yourself to feel this?
Next up is I, and I is for investigate. Now that you've allowed yourself to feel this feeling, and it's probably kind of uncomfortable, how does this show up in your body, in your emotions, in your mind? And just play around with it. Don't judge yourself here. That's not what this is about. Investigate like you are a detective going into that brain of yours and just trying to discover what's going on. The last letter is N for nurture. This is one of my favorite parts about this practice. It doesn't ask us to identify what we're unwilling to feel and then attack it with anger and determination. It just asks us to acknowledge and look at it and be curious. And then we're going to end with kindness for ourselves. When you're ready, you're gonna do something about it, but there's no rush. So let's finish this practice by explaining why you need to be kinder to yourself. How can you show yourself kindness and empathy right now? Maybe write a few affirmations or a few gratitudes or a few baby steps that you have taken. So that is the big question and the RAIN practice. As you go about your week after this video and you start to feel yourself avoiding this feeling, I encourage you to return to this RAIN practice. Recognize what's happening. Allow yourself to feel it. Investigate it. Just be curious without judgment and then be kind to yourself, nurture yourself. Let me know how that goes in the comments. Also, if you wanna hear more about my story and how this question impacted me, you can check out that video that's linked above. I'll see y'all later, bye.